Thank you for tuning in to Sapphire Smuggles Resource Zone TV. So today's topic is congenital, congenital, I'm sorry, syphilis. Yes, so this is a type of syphilis the mother can contract during pregnancy. And that is usually untreated. Let's get into why all of this occurs. So congenital syphilis occurs when a mother syphilis goes untreated during pregnancy. So this is one of those things that when you first find out that you're pregnant and you go for all the blood tests and a pap smear and they looking for every single thing just to, first of all, um, make sure that you're pregnant and if you have any like viral or diseases that's kind of lingering, is to take care of it to see if it can be taken care of during the pregnancy or if they just have some treatments um, afterwards. So let's still get into it. So that's when a mother's syphilis goes untreated during pregnancy and it's passed to the baby through the placenta. So not only food and water is passed through the placenta for the baby but also diseases so that's why they want to make sure the host which is the mom is free and clear of everything that she have going on so baby can live and thrive as a healthy full-term baby so um your baby can also become infected with syphilis during labor and delivery so that's something that you really really want to discuss with your OBGYN so the risk of infecting a baby is the greatest when a mother is in the early stages of syphilis but the infection is possible anytime during the pregnancy it is very important that um, you guys pregnant moms have your blood tests know the results of the blood test and ask those questions ask get very involved in the health care of you and your baby um, because if you catch it early on it can be significantly reduced um, and treated during the pregnancy so it doesn't have to be left untreated it can be treated so if the mother is treated like 16 weeks of her pregnancy the baby will not become infected when it's time to deliver but if you exceed past that point it's it's a greater chance that baby will become infected and treatments can become more vigorous and sometimes if you wait too late mom can miscarry so we don't want those type of unfortunate events to happen especially if we can um, take care of the problem early on so another couple of things baby can be stillborn or shortly die after birth because that is a viral infection so please just get your health in check so complications that occur in the baby when it when it's infected and not treated can include um, flat bridge nose in which I'm gonna have pictures um, permanent inserty or that peg shaped widely spaced notch at the end of the T so I'm gonna have pictures posted and you'll be able to see it in this segment. So infection of the cornea. So the cornea, definitely in your eyes, it may cause blindness. Um, progressive disabling, a life-threatening complication, including the brain. So we don't want that. Deafness, um, bone deformities. Um, please just, just get your body checked out. So antibiotics can prevent the progression of the disease that's in the body. However, we still have to be cautious and mindful that if it's already developed, it, it may not be reversible. So if the baby lives past six to 12 months and not being treated, the disease can progress to a, a very latent stage and the symptoms but the complications will appear over time so this is um very very important to get checked get your baby checked 
everything needs to be treated early on in the pregnancy. We do not want um, you to have a misfortune in, in this case. Um, that was all I had for you, congenital syphilis. It is a thing and it is still prevalent today. Thank you. I hope this was informative for you. Um, like and subscribe. Till next time. Bye. Thank you.